Hi, I'm Heather Kern Swanson, and I am an English teacher at the high school. And one of the things I wanted to tell you about is how I became a teacher. And originally, I didn't even want to be a teacher. My parents were teachers, my grandparents were teachers, my aunt's a teacher, my sister's a teacher, and I wanted to be something different. So I went to college for two years, and I was a journalism major. And after about two years, I realized that journalism was taking a turn towards sensationalism, and it didn't really fit me. Because what I wanted to do was something that was like good for other people and would make a difference. And I decided to try out teaching, and I thought it would be temporary. So I took my first teaching job, and it was really engaging, and it was really challenging, and I just loved the kids. And I felt like what I was doing with, was worthwhile. So it's 19 years later, and I'm still in the classroom. And so when people ask me, I tell them that I didn't really choose to be a teacher. Teaching chose me. Um, it's a calling. So, and I think I've stayed in the classroom because students really amaze me. Um, I've spent 19 years being amazed by kids. And I think my favorite part of teaching is that you're really, like when you get to high school, you're really a facilitator for learning. Like your job is to teach kids to think for themselves. And so I love those days when the kids teach me something new whether it's um, Chris Silva, who taught me to talk about truth and fiction and nonfiction, or Heather Bernanke, who taught me a new symbol in the Scarlet Letter, or um, Hilary Risk, who went home one day after school and researched Mark Twain's political views so that we could have a better discussion of Huck Finn, or Cameron Dunbar, who taught me that Sherman Alexi betrays the reader in the book Flight, and I teach it every year now as if it's truth. Um, and it's those little things that happen every day that make my job so fun. Um, I think my hope for Strongsville and the kids of Strongsville is that they still continue to have um, this sort of individualized education that engages them, that challenges them, that helps them um, move forward and prepares them for who they want to be in life.